Okay, ladies and gentlemen, what is up? This is BlueFox22 coming at you with a channel update and an also a random game review. This is... Uh, I had to make sure it was the right one. Sorry about that. So today we're just going to BS around and catch up with you guys a little bit about what's going on. Um, so first off... Um, you may have noticed that the car contest never started. That's because the... I have no way of recording any outside content other than what's on the PC. And I don't like doing card giveaways or contests in general if you guys can't view it. Um, I'm going to try and do a test video with Mady's phone over the weekend. Um, she's off on Friday, so if that test video goes right, then we I will start the contest. And it will run into probably January, hopefully not. Um, but um, as it stands right now, I can't do face cam updates. I can't do face cam for the channel for videos. So yeah, it's 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 pretty bad right now. But uh, let's just jump into this. Um, for those of you who are wondering, I am taking the piss out of this game. So if this did work, let's see, I can draw again after this, a select down, okay. So, select down, yep, it works. Alright, so, sorry for the crappy image. Uh, give me one second and I'll be right back, I want to see if I can fix it up. There we go. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. So, like I said, I am taking the piss out of this game. It is an older game, so I'm not too worried about it. Graveyard of Fourth Dimension. Let me view this one. Add two monsters in your graveyard. Okay. I don't have my level dragon out. I'm going to set MST on the field. Okay, that'll be nice. Armor Dragon level 5. Good card. Nobleman Crossout. I'll set that card and then I will summon Lesser Dragon in attack mode. And I will. In my turn. So, yeah, it's just... One thing after another, after another, after another, after another. Uh, no. Haha, I get to draw again. Alright, Trap Jammer. I will set. And I will activate Nobleman Cross Out. Okay. Ascending one monster card from your hand to the graveyard, destroy one face of monster your opponents. 
When your opponent is out of the field, with an attack equal to or less than the attack of the set monster. During the end phase of a turn that this card destroys the monster as a result of battle by sending this card to the graveyard, special summon one, one armored dragon, level seven from your hand or deck. So I can't do that this turn. I'll set call the haunted. Mm, nah, I'm good. And I will go to battle phase. Let's do this. Luster Dragon, attack! Uh, no, I'm good. Just, just attack. Thank you. Drive Jammer, MST, and Call of Honor. We don't need all that. I'm done! So, yeah. Um, we do plan on getting the iPad next week. Um, a new one. Let's see. And then we will... I choose this one. Oh, Aurora Guardian liked my tweet. <laughs> Snatch Steel! Okay. Take control of a monster in your opponent's side of the field. Increase your life points, your opponent's life points by a thousand. Yeah, I already know about that. Look like another monster. Premature burial. So I'll set premature burial. I will activate reload. I will summon Master Dragon. Curse of Anubis. Let's see. All face-up effect monsters in the field are changed to defense position during the turn. This card is activated. The original defense of those affected monsters becomes zero. And their battle positions cannot be changed except with a card effect. Alright, let's see. Mass Dragon. I forgot his effect. When this card is destroying sensitive a grave versus the battle, special summon dragon type monster attack 1500 or less. Uh, from the deck, then shuffle your deck, okay. Okay, so let us into battle phase. No, won't do that. Just attack. Haha! -ha! I knew it! Rocket Warrior! Attack you directly. 1400 points of damage! Okay. Main phase 2. I will summon Armor Dragon level 5. Even though I could wait for uh, level 3 to come out, but I'm not, I don't feel like waiting. Alright. And then I can activate Call of the Haunted. Bring back Mash Dragon. And then my turn. No! I will draw. Red eyes, dark chick. Red eyes, black chick. Uh, send this face up card on your side of the field to the graveyard to special summon one red eyes, black dragon from your hand. Don't have one yet. 
But I can activate Premature Burial. What's up, Mass Dragon? And then take the piss out of this again. <laughs> and draw. Uh, and then I will summon another Mass Dragon. And then I will take the piss out of this duel again. And then I will activate Reload! Reload! Uh, dif different dimension, dif uh, inter interdimensional tra matter transporter. Uh, 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 tongue tied. Select one face up monster on your side of the field and remove it from play until the end phase of this turn. Nice. Alright. I'm um, sending one monster cart from your hand to the graveyard. Okay, it's not face up anyway. Alright, let's go to the battle phase. So, yeah, as soon as um, I have some more good news for you guys, the better. Um, ooh, ouch. Also, uh, there won't be any new games, uh, per se. Whoa, what's his defense? 1650. Oh, okay. Um, until the new year. So as soon as... Uh, the new year rolls around. We will have new games. 2400, 4700 left. It's a nice chunk of damage taken from you. Uh, of course you have Karibo. Why wouldn't you have Karibo? Forgot you summoned Karibo. Oh, just in my turn. So, yeah. Um, but there will be random games like this. Um, random game reviews and stuff. But uh, as far as LPs and stuff, nothing new until... Uh, yes, yes I would. Nothing new until... The New Year. Element Dragon! I draw. I activate the creature swap. Reflect Bounder. When this face up attack position card is attacked by a monster on your opponent's side of the field, before damage calculation is resolved in the damage step, this card inflicts damage to your opponent's life points equal to the attack of the attacking monster. Then, after damage calculation is resolved, this card is destroyed. Then I'll activate Snatch Steel. Thank you. Battle phase. Reflect Bounder, attack please. Mass Dragon, attack please! Oh, Armored Dragon, can you finish this off, please? Oh, thank you very much. You win! Alright, not bad. Alright, so yeah, that's... This is a random Yu-Gi-Oh game uh, for today, um, but like I said, uh, as soon as there's more new things, I will let you guys know. I mean, it was just a freak accident. The screen cracked, and then it just the screen started wigging out. We couldn't control anything on it, so it it is done, son. <laughs> it's D O O U N E. Uh, uh, son, S U U O O N N E. Um, it's pronounced son, but even though you would say sune, but anyway, um, it's it, yeah, it's it's done. It's went the way to the dodo. Um, I did get a new case uh, for the PC, so I don't have to worry about any more shorts or anything, any more audio hiccups from using the front 
uh, USB ports. I don't know what was going on with that, but ever since I did we get, did get the new um, case, I will show you some pictures eventually of it. Um, ever since we got the new case, everything's been a little bit better. Um, still need to uh, uh, upgrade to down the road, power supply, CPU definitely, trying to get a quad core CPU, um, beefier power supply, probably 550, 600, I'm, I'm thinking six, six, 600, 650, something along those lines, and RAM. I think out of the cheapest options between the power supply and the RAM will be one of those that'll be sooner than later. And I'm going to try and see if I can get our old video card in the in there, but I want to try and wait for the power supply in order to do that so we can run dual uh, video cards. So we'll have the 750, I believe. The GTX 750. If I can get it. Where's the box? Come here, Mr. Box. There it goes. I'm dropping stuff. Yeah. GeForce GTX 750Ti. So yeah. Um, but other than that, not much is going on. Um, goals for the near future for the channel: um, El Gato or a Hogpog for the PS3. So we can do some games off of that. Um, just yeah. Just random general updates. Just got The Last of Us for PS3. It is the definitive collection, uh, I believe. I can't remember which one it is. It's the uh, metal case. And just got God of War 3 for PS3. Got both of those for five bucks at my local exchange here in Pittsburgh, PA. It was actually pretty nice to get both of those for five bucks. Um, considering that you know they were pre they were pre-owned, but the condition of the discs and it was just beautiful. So you know it's just I commend those who take care of their stuff and they sell their games to people who would actually appreciate them because you know a lot of people they'll go out, get a game, beat it, and then they're done because you know they want to know the next chapter in the story. But yeah. Um, Looking forward to the new year. Hopefully, uh, more content means, you know, bigger things for YouTube for me and then more stuff for you guys as well. Um, looking for, hopefully, I can get a PS4 because um, I'm Jones in the chat at Final Fantasy 15. Um, if I can't get it for PS4, hopefully, there is a PC port down the road and then we will do an LP of Final Fantasy 15 on the PC. Uh, but if not, it's not the end of the world. Um, but my main reason for wanting to get a PS4... Oh, Final Fantasy VII Remake. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Now, I hear the pros and cons of Final Fantasy XV. That was ten years in the making. The remake for Final Fantasy VII supposedly has been in production since, I think, the last time I remember looking anything up was 2012. So, so far, four years of production, and, you know, I'm a stickler for the episodical stuff. I don't like when things are released episodically, but I would rather a to receive a polished product that is, you know, six to ten hours long for not doing any side quests, and, you know, it is the definitive story of Final Fantasy 7 no tweaks no nothing to the story we know it you know we know the whole plot synopsis even though it's wacky as hell and you know we get from point A to point B not a problem and it says to be continued episode 2 you know to me that would burn a little bit but it's cuz you know Final Fantasy 7 if you know what you're doing with the original you're flying through it not a problem. You can beat the first reactor in five minutes if you know what you're doing. Um, but yeah, that, that's just... Uh, I'm, I, I'm hopefully, hopefully Final Fantasy Rem 7 Remake comes out and it is gorgeous. But I do want to see some remakes or at least some HD remasters 
of our previous Final Fantasy games. I've got not mine an HD remaster of nine. Um, a little bit of a tweak and overhaul, maybe a remake or a remaster of Final Fantasy VIII. For me, Final Fantasy VIII, it's not that it's boring, it's the plot is weird. You have to really sit there and think outside the box in order to get 8 and 13 to really work for you because they're dabbling with time travel and th that can be a sticky situation because if you're not careful, you'll dig yourself into a hole and you won't know what to do. Um, Final Fantasy IX is in, and no, you know, no holds barred. It is quintessentially a perfect game. Yes, it has its flaws, but everyone agrees. The music is gorgeous. Yes, the gameplay is gorgeous. Yes, it is fun. Yes, I have picked it up and put it. I've picked it up, beaten it, and put it down several times. I cannot tell you how many times I've picked it up, beaten it, and put it down. Um. You know, Final Fantasy IX is a childhood staple game of mine. Um, you know, for me, childhood games for old PS1 classics. Tomb Raider. Um, when they had a PlayStation port for it. Um, the first two Vector Man games. I remember playing them on the Sega Genesis. And I remember my uncle, he came home one day after work. And he had Vector Man 1 and 2 for PlayStation, which was weird. Um, I guess they were ports. I don't know where he got them from, but it was awesome because they were one to one. It was one to one Vector Man from Sega, but on PlayStation, which was awesome. Um, for me, Legends of Dragoon, Final Fantasy IX, um, Final Fantasy VIII, and Seven, uh, Final Fantasy Tactics. I did play a little bit. Uh, Tactics and Tactics Tactics Two was my friend Freddy's. Um, Command and Conquer the Command & Conquer series for PlayStation. Um, so yeah, I had a lot of decent games growing up. Um, I got Legends of Dragoon for my friend Freddy. That was his game. He uh, sold it to me, and I played the living hell out of that game. I actually loved it. The only thing I have trouble with is doing the additions, but I think everybody has trouble doing that. Um, but yeah, I would love to see some sequels, maybe some remakes of those games. Uh, or some HD remasters. I would love to see an HD remaster or at least a remake of Legends of Dragoon and then a sequel because the sequel was planned and then it got canceled, which sucked because that game is awesome. I'm replaying it right now. HD Bailey is also actually playing it for his channel. You know, I love RPGs it's because, you know, we can't live in those fantasy worlds where magic is real and, you know, we can't conjure fire with the thought of heat and sparks and smoke and embers in the palm of our hand and then it just happens. But you can live through that if you play through RPGs and fantasy games like that with Dungeons and Dragons and, you know, um, Pathfinder. Games like that, you can do that. So, you know, it is a good outlet for your imagination because it doesn't matter if you're 4 or 44 you could be 104. If you forget that little piece of you that will always remain a child and you let that child's imagination dies, to me, you die a little bit on the inside because we all need that goofy side, that imagination. You know, that's what drives creativity. That's what drives me to do YouTube videos, you know. It's just, you know, imagination and creativity. You know, I like to, when I, take the piss out of games, you know, you know, I add cheats and stuff, I like to feel that I am a god now. I have seen this road, I've been down this road and seen this world through the eyes of a thousand lives. You cannot stop me. Like, I'm playing through Final Fantasy 7 now on the PlayStation, on PlayStation 3, just got it digitally, and through the brilliant work of technology, uh, dex drives and all that, um, I had some of my old saves from years ago that I took from um, my PlayStation memory card, put it on the PS2 memory card, and I had the code breaker for PS2, and it had a save game functionality, and you could take your save, your saves, your game saves, and put them on a thumb drive. And I put my two Final Fantasy um, saves on my old thumb drive, and lo and behold. 
the whole reason why I bought Final Fantasy VII was because I found that old thumb drive. I was like, oh, wait, I remember you. And I plopped it in the computer. It had all of my PS2 saves. It had um, uh, Devil May Cry 3. It had Devil May Cry 1. Um, Resident Evil 4. Um, Metal Gear Solid 2. Um, what else was on there? Uh, a couple Crash Bandicoot games. A Jack and Daxter game. But then it had Final Fantasy, my um, old uh, PS1 game saves on there. So it had Parasite Eve, Parasite Eve 2, it had um, Final Fantasy 7, Final Fantasy 9, um, uh, it had a couple others, uh, Zone of the Enders, it had, well that's PS2, um, it had uh, uh, Xenogears, um, so a lot of the games that I'm playing now are saves that I had well over 10 years ago, and I'm just surprised that I found them because, you know, my mom goes, oh, I found some of your old games from way back when. I'm like, oh, okay, sweet. And, you know, I can't play them physically anymore, but I still have the saves. So that's some nostalgia for me. And the biggest save that was on there that... You know, it gave me warm, fuzzy feelings because, that, you know, it was back in the day when me and my mom and, you know, my uncle, we all, you know, we would get down and sit down together and actually play games together. Tomb Raider. I had Tomb Raider 1 and Tomb Raider 2. Uh, Tomb Raider 1, the save was, I think it was like an hour before the final boss. Not even, like 45 minutes before the final boss. And then uh, it was Tomb Raider 2 it was the first 15 minutes into the game. I, the, oh, it was awesome. And I got warm fuzzy feelings from that because that was, you know, when I think back and that was when my aunts were still alive and, you know, it was good. It was good times. It was good times. You know, when my grandmother was still alive and stuff. So it was actually pretty fun. But I prattled on long enough. Like I said, I will let you guys know what is going on with the card contest like i said if there's nothing this month forgive me there will be something next month um like i said i don't like holding contests and you guys can't see what you're getting um i have a theme for the deck it's going to be a dino deck so if you're not into dinosaurs like i always tell you if, if someone's holding a contest or a giveaway enter it and you can use it for fuel for your channel um, you will not hurt my feelings if you decide to take the cards that you win from me and use them for contests for yourself. You know, I'd rather these cards be given out and given to people who can use them. You know, kids who are getting into TCGs doesn't have even have to be Yu-Gi-Oh. It could be Magic, it could be Pokemon, it could be whatever. Um, and that's why I bought, you know, so many cards is so that I can give you guys a means to help boost your channels too. So, you know, and never be afraid to do a contest. It may seem expensive, but it's well worth it in the end because you're gaining a subscriber base, but you're also gaining friends in, in the process. I have gained several friends through YouTube now, and I do consider them my friends. We haven't physically ever met, but we do communicate every now and then. Um, Danny, Sweeker, and Chris, um, the very awesome, um, among many others, you know, I thank you guys because you stuck, you're sticking through with me and, you know, you're the, you've been with me through the highs and you've been with me through the lows and you were there with me when I crossed that threshold of 50 subscribers. So we are on the road to a hundred and then we are on the road to 500 and then we're on a road to a thousand. It can only go up from here. And I thank you guys. So, you know, like I said, I do want to have a contest this month. But if I can't, there will be one next month. And that is the New Year's contest. And that is my thanks to you guys for, you know, as soon as you join my channel, I always say you're a veteran. You've been here for the year. Even if you haven't, you've been there for the year. And when you come with me into the next year, that makes me feel good. And it makes me want to push even harder and continue to move forward. Uh, I am feeling a lot better, by the way. My mouth still kills me. It's still killing me. 
but you know it's going to take time for that to go away for that to heal um i'm am still job hunting which is the sad truth um you know i missed my dream job that i had you know i i loved you know working doing what i did for what i went to school for um for those of you who don't know i went to school for computer aided drafting uh it's architectural computer aided drafting and design um I was taught how to, to do onboard drafting, meaning pen and paper. And I was also taught how to use AutoCAD, Rivet, stuff like that um, for architectural work as far as building, build, making, you know, helping architects design blueprints and floor plans and, um, you know, different aspects of a working or working drawings for a building, whether it be residential or commercial. And we also did little infrastructure stuff like pipes and stuff like that. So I, you know, that's what I went to school for. And, you know, granted, it wasn't a hundred percent what I went to school for because the gentleman that I worked for and his associates, you know, they did church restoration and I don't want to drop any names cause you know, he doesn't, you know, he has a business. Um, and they did church restorations, you know, they restored paintings and statues and they would help uh, dioceses build new churches and new locations, you know, and they were international. They just weren't local for here in the States. You know, he had clients in Italy and, and over in, in, in Europe and, uh, you know, here in the States and, uh, you know, just different places everywhere. And it was awesome. Um, and I love working with them, and hopefully down the, in the near future I work with them again because that was very very fun to do. And the money was just a bonus, you know. It was it was hard at first because you are in an office setting and you've never been in an office setting before, which I semi was because that's pretty much what retail is. When before the store closed, before the store opens, and before the store closes. You are in the office, and you're getting you're you're getting everything ready for that day. You know you're talking business with the managers, even if it's low local business for the store. You're still talking business, and you know if you've never done that before, you've only worked in fast food, or you've only did like landscaping work, like uh, mowing lawns or shoveling snow and stuff like that. Being in an office setting can be frustrating. It can be it can be headache inducing. And it, it, when you have things that are a time crunch, like, uh, you know, you know, documents have to be finished before this because they needed them two days ago, um, which happens. Um, it can be stressful, but it was a good stress because it, I was like, look, I'm making X amount of money an hour and I love it because that money is a bonus. This is what I went to school for and I'm loving it because... You know, I do want to get AutoCAD. I might get Adobe, uh, Adobe uh, CAD to show you guys. You know, something things that I've done. I do have some of my drawings that I want to show you guys. Um, my friend, she's borrowing my CKD drawing. Well, my KD drawing. Um, KD CKD Certified Kitchen Designer. Uh, we had a little bit of a test drawing um, before I graduated from school, where we had to do to make and design our house. Our teacher gave us a basic blueprint of a house, and then we had to basically design the interior of it. And the one thing that we worked on, um, that we had time to work on, was the kitchen. And let me put it to you: like, it's a detriment. I knew, somewhat knew how to draw before I started school, and by the time I was done, yes, I can draw. And if I sit down and you give me a detailed idea of what you want, I can draw it out, and then I can put it on a, in a computer. No, I cannot finalize blueprints. I am legally not allowed to do that. You have to go to an architect for that, and then a civil, uh, well, an engineer in general. Not a civil engineer, but an engineer. But I digress. I sat back after I did that kitchen drawing, and I went, whoa, I drew this? It is a detriment to those teachers, to the school that I went to, as to how dedicated they are to teaching you the craft as to what they did in their life. And, you know, I applaud them for it and I thank them. So, yeah. All right. Like I've said it already before, 
I'll say it again. I've prattled on long enough. I'm going to go because next up, I'm going to do a couple skirmish matches of StarCraft II. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host, Blue Fox 22 aka Michael Gardner. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. I know I haven't said it in a while, and there's a reason why, but I'll talk about that later. Anyway, stay safe. Especially if you're in, you know, the snowy areas of the United States. Because you just got a shitload of snow here in Pittsburgh. Not a shitload. Decent amount. Roads are still covered. It is winter. Not yet. Theoretically. But anyway. Stay safe. Stay warm. And stay as healthy as humanly possible. I will see you, hopefully, in the next video. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Take care. Bye-bye.